Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to our stock trading application. In this second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to use geolocation to restrict access to an API. The geolocation feature lets you access protected APIs based on the physical location of the device. The application passes the location information to the gateway in the HTTP header of an access request. For the mobile SDK, geolocation is expressed as the latitude and longitude coordinates of the hosted device. Let's see how we provide geolocation information for our API. As you recall, our stock trading app requires that only stocks are traded in Vancouver area. To provide location information for the API, we simply enable location permission on the stock trading app. One thing that you have to make sure is that in mssoconfig.json file, we have location enabled value set to true. That's all for iOS mobile SDK. Mobile SDK will ask the permission on the device as SDK initialized and will inject geolocation information in the header of every HTTP request. If you set this value to false, Mobile SDK will simply not send geolocation information in any request. And now, to show the location that is actually sent to the gateway in our app, we add mask set gateway network activity logging set to true. Be careful of this method as this is a debug only method and will not work on the release version of the app. Now, Let's run the application and test the interaction. The stock trading app will prompt the location permission for the first installation. And user grants the permission for the app and provide the trade parameters and click buy. As it was not previously authenticated, provide the username and password to authenticate. As you can see, I was able to successfully invoke the endpoint and back to the debug console and we can see the latitude and the longitude are sent to the gateway for verification. The API is now location aware. Based on the location information, API can accept or reject the transaction. That's it. Implementing geolocation requires just a single line of configuration in the application. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.